In this video, I'm going to explain how you set up vinyl banners using Canva. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you set up custom vinyl banners using Canva. And we're going to show you the sizes from a 2x4 up to an 8x8 and even a really popular 1x8 and 1x10 for Canvas tents. First off, my name is Nick. I own a print company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that we print a lot of vinyl banners. And I've seen a lot of people have certain concerns about making artwork in Canva. Uh, and I want to basically address a bunch of issues uh, on how to set it up, things to look out for when you're making vinyl banners, and how to make sizes that are just not possible on Canva. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you, you can actually support us by ordering vinyl banners from our own website, Millweb One Express. But I'll save that to the very end. I'll show you all the good stuff first, and then if you want to support us, feel free to order from us. We're going to start off by explaining how to make a one foot by eight foot vinyl banner. And those are very popular for doing over canopies, like a 10 by 10. So you're going to want to do something that's either a one by eight, or one by nine for a 10 by 10 canopy setup. So what you're going to want to do is go to new design, Make sure your units are in inches, very important. Leaving it in the pixels is just not gonna work. So you gotta keep it in inches. And there are certain preset sizes for uh, banners that are larger than the uh, aspect ratios that they allow here on Canva. So example, this one for a one by eight, we would really need to make it 12 inches by 96 inches, which isn't possible. So we have to make it scaled down. So what we did, we scale it to 10 inches by 80 inches. And I'm going to put all the scale downs of every sizes that are popular down in the description. So feel free to check that out during the video or after. Uh, if there are certain ones that you guys have questions on, please let me in the comments about what sizes you're trying to look for a downsize, and I'll be able to get you those numbers. Um, so this one is going to be a 10, a 10 inch by 80 inch to output a 12 by uh, uh, 96. So we're going to create new design. And what we're going to do is use uh, a default uh, design just to get this moving here. Uh, I want to explain some important things about leaving designs too close to the edge. All right. So this is a one by eight set up here and everything's spaced really well. So I'm going to exaggerate here and just move some things that I know would be issues um, for people that would order here. All right. So let's imagine this is how the customer submit or you would submit the order. Everything over here is too close to the edge, too close to the edge, and too close to the corner. The graphics, the photo, that is fine. It doesn't matter. What you're going to want to avoid is keeping important information like text, phone numbers, QR codes, social media away from the edges. And you're going to leave about an inch to an inch and a half around the whole border. And that leaves clearance for all the grommets that are placed. For the banners that we usually do, every two to three feet all the way around it will have grommets. So it's important to move it up just about right there and you're gonna be clear. And that just moves down, we'll move this thing over. Even if you moved it right here, that's fine. Again, this is just, doesn't have to be fancy right here, we're just showing an example. So if you can zoom in here, everything is gonna be really good quality because this is all Canva uh, vectors. So if you bring in your own fonts or logos, uh, you're gonna make sure if it's a vector, it's gonna be fine. If it's a JPEG and stuff like that, uh, you're gonna make sure it upscales correctly. So you're gonna zoom in all the way to make sure. I will show, make another video that's just dedicated to understanding your logo and understanding importing and the difference between you know blurry, pixelated, and vector-based artwork. And I'm gonna show you how to fix issues when they happen. For now, we're just going over overall layout to make sure we can get you the right uh, export for when you place orders from any vendor. All right, so everything looks good in here. And you, yes, you can move everything you want around here. This can be resized to whatever you want. Uh, if you decide to replace this photo, make sure it's a really high res photo. Uh, again, because you'll have pixelation issues. This one's great. So what we're gonna do is we got it to the right size. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit file, download, and then it brings you over to the download tab. It's default as a PNG, which says suggested. That's not suggested for any printable items. That's suggested for uh, web-based prints or web-based uh, applications. So you're going to just never select that. Go all the way down to print PDF, the best possible output you could do. Don't change anything else. Just hit download, and then we'll wait for it to download, and then we'll open it up as PDF, and I'll show you it's exactly how we want the export. So this we'll call this a 1x8 uh, test. And then we're going to bring it up here. Give me a second. 
All right, we're gonna bring it up, slide it over. All right, so let me make this a little bit smaller. So this is the one by eight in a PDF form, and we can zoom all the way into this. And you really want to zoom in to make sure, yep, this is all clean artwork. You know, the photo, yeah, a little blurry, but we're really zoomed in here. From five feet away, even if it's blurry, no one except for me and you now will know that there's an issue. So if you're worried about a little pixelation, a little blurry, and you're not being too perfectionist, it's going to be fine. You know, it's no one's going to be looking as close as we are at this. Uh, but if you want it perfect, you're really going to make sure it's all vector-based. So we're all good here. Let's say you want to change this to a different size. So you don't like the size. You want to go one by nine uh, or a one by 10. We can change that right here. So if you go to resize, we can actually go to custom size and then let's say we're going to make it 10 feet. All right, so we're going to make it 120. Uh, oh, sorry, no, we're going to change it. So 120 actually should be 78 uh, by 6.5. And again, I will have all of these pre-configured smaller scale sizes for all the 10 ones. These are very common, the 1 by 8, 1 by 9, and 1 by 10. So I'm going to hit redesign this, this design. And the cool thing about Canva, it's just going to redesign it for you. You're going to have to move a little bit, but it, it keeps it kind of like straight and organized. I, I do like it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this and move this all over here. And then we could probably enlarge this a little bit. And we'll take this one and move it over here. So we have, we have a lot of limited, uh, you know, what I call dead space. Uh, again, you can play with that as you go. We're just doing it for example wise. So everything looks good here. And we're going to export this one the same way. So select it, take away the PNG, uh, PDF print. Uh, there is one other option just in case PDF, 99% PDF print is going to be your best, best choice. Sometimes that 1%, there is some issues when converting some kind of files. You can always do JPEG, but don't leave it at default. You max this thing all the way out just to be safe. Bigger the better on this stuff. So download it. It's going to take a little bit longer, but now you have a JPEG that's maxed completely out and you can do whatever you want to it. The only thing is if you, let's say you made this into a billboard, you know, you're going to lose some of the, uh, the vector ability to it. So when you export as a PDF, that vectors that were designed in there, all this stuff right here where it's all the text and the color and the shapes and stuff, those are all vector-based. Those can go to infinite sizes without distor uh, distortion. Uh, so if you wanted to make like a billboard that's like 10 feet by 20 feet and you made it 10 by 20 inches, uh, you're going to want to keep it in that PDF format. Um, so that's basically it for that. Uh, let me show you how we would do a two by four. And what's really cool, again, you can just resize this whole thing uh, to, uh, to basically any size you want. Part about Canva, you can just hit that resize button and they actually have a 48 inch by 24 inch already set up. So go ahead and click that. And then we're gonna do redesign this design. So it's not gonna make you a new one. You can have the option to copy and make a new one. So if you want to make a different styles for different sizes you can do that for this purposes i'm good with just redesigning uh the current one uh see it gives you the whole kind of area to play with so what we're going to do is we're going to move this stuff down make it bigger i'm going to do it quick as possible move this back down we'll take this move this as big as we can here get rid of this one and then we're going to make this really large here let's go ahead and enlarge with it here all right we're going to keep that there bring this out more learn more all right so there we go we got a quick two by four everything sized right even blowing up this photo really didn't matter uh it's a really good photo so if you have a really good quality photo you can keep on enlarging these things again from five feet away no one's ever going to look at these kind of details this is just stuff that uh, i'm looking at here all right so we're good on that so what you're going to want to do is go to the same thing file download change to pdf print and then hit the download uh, then I'm going to save this one as a 2x4 because I'm going to show you some cool things uh, at the end of the video about how to order these. 2x4, uh, test. All right. Now let's like say you want to do mm, a 3x6, 4x8. You just have to use the same size. So the 2x4 can scale up to a 3 foot by 6 foot, a 4 foot by 8 foot, even a 5 foot by 10 foot. You can do certainly larger. I think the next step up would be 6 feet by 12 feet. Uh, and so on and so on. Uh, com not a common size. Um, you could easily um, make like an 8x8 eight eight doing the same kind of thing. So it's all about scaling. 
Uh, so example, an eight foot by eight foot banner would be 96 inches by 96 inches. So all we have to do is take that and divide it in half, which will bring you to 48 by 48. Now I'm gonna turn this one into that. So that you'll have to go to custom size and you already have 48 in here. So you'll have 48 as the height now and then click that and then uh, copy I'm going to redesign this design. So it's gonna take this one and redesign this one right from the two by four. It takes a second, I'm gonna bring it open. All right, there you go. You got a two by or a four by four now. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. All right, again, we're not doing anything fancy. We're just gonna keep it simple here. Let's move this up. All right, just for reference, we're gonna keep this the way it is. All right, so let's say you wanna turn this into the eight by eight. So all you have to do, file, download, same thing. This is where you really should do the PDF print no matter what, not the PDF, because you're going to make this quite big. Doubling it's going to be uh, pretty big. So 8x8 eight eight test. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that's basically how you do it. And the same rules apply for all around edging. You want to make sure you keep that inch to an inch and a half all the way around the border to avoid any kind of grommets going into it. Because this banner, this 8x8 eight eight is going to have two to three uh, grommets all the way around it. So I showed you a couple of different common sizes for vinyl banners. Now I want to show you is how our website really works well with ordering vinyl banners. We specialize in just max vinyl banner production. We do so many vinyl banners per month uh, that I just absolutely love it. So I have to I have to share this information with you. You guys are going to love it. All right. Sorry, I'm overly excited about this kind of stuff. So you can order everything on this website. Uh, it's going to say free overnight shipping. So that's right. It's got free overnight shipping. So all of our vinyl banners include next day production and free overnight shipping anywhere in the country, including Alaska and Hawaii. I know it's crazy. Uh, so for example, a two by four we were messing with, it's only $40. $40, all right? I know that's crazy and it doesn't make sense, but I can tell you we've been doing it for years. We've been doing it on social media in the past year and people seem to love it. So I made this whole website, Millweb One Express. Our parent company is Millweb. Millweb One Express is just meant for all uh, next day production with free overnight shipping. So example, if you're in Alaska or Hawaii uh, or anywhere east, west coast, you order on Monday, it's gonna ship Tuesday and you're gonna have this banner by Wednesday any size all the way up to 10 feet by 75 feet all rolled up and shipped out so it's pretty crazy deal so again a two by four we're gonna we're gonna see how it works place right now with it here so a two by four it's got edging edging is basically where it folds over the material to the back of it and then we put the grommets through two layers so you're always going to want to keep edging on there grommets as well grommets every two to three feet they're placed you can do double sided on banners if you want uh, the price will go from 40 to 80 if you do double sided uh, so we're going to just show off a single sided right now so what i'll do is i'm going to do upload design and this is where we're going to take one of our files that we already made here the two by four we're going to upload it now it takes a couple seconds and then what it's going to do is going to bring it up to our uh, artboards. So you can actually design your own uh, banner right here on the website. You don't need Canva, but I'm going to tell you Canva obviously is going to have way more templates. The templates are going to be cleaner than what we have. Ours are meant for simple text photos, something, nothing as fancy as, as this. So if you really want to use Canva, we encourage you to use it, design it that way. Just export the way that we just showed. So this will show you everything put in here from what we designed. We even have our little safe zone margins. So that way, yep, there's nothing, nothing in the way of any of the grommets. Uh, so we're good to go on it. So everything looks good on here uh, and you're going to hit continue. It's very simple. I'm going to show you a bunch of different uh, sizes that you can do. Uh, the ordering process is so streamlined. So all it is, it shows the photo here. You can change the job, uh, enter the quantity and then simply agree and then save it to the cart. And I'll show you what shipping looks like just so you can show, show you that it is truly free shipping right here. FedEx overnight free shipping. Even we'll tell you the estimated delivery time. So uh, example, like I said, if you order on Monday, it ships Tuesday, you get it Wednesday. The only times those changes is if we have holidays. You know, there's FedEx holidays uh, or we like coming up for Christmas here. We have uh, certainly different uh, holiday hours, but those will be reflected on the website so you don't get confused. Uh, so then let's go back to the other product here, just to show you the one by tens, uh, one by eights, one by nines. So this is the listing for the tent banners. As you can see, these go right above here. Uh, grommets every two to three feet. Uh, best way to hang these, 
is either bungees, uh, there's double sided tape, you can do Velcro, you can do rope. I'm gonna tell you bungees, the best. Bungees give it nice and tight wrapped around. There's tons of places to wrap it underneath uh, with the tent. So I would advise that there's tons of samples on the listing of different uh, ways people set it up, just different styles. You can get references. I add photos all the time. We get tons of orders and I basically ask people to send us files. So, you know, we get a handful of files every single day of people basically showing off their work and I love it. So I add as many photos as I can. You can get a lot to look at here just to give you an idea of people's layouts. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring in the one by eight. So you can select different sizes, uh, one by eight, one by nine, one by 10, hit the custom design. It's gonna bring the layout here. So this is where you can actually design, you know, whatever you want. You could use some of our presets. Again, I would suggest you, if you want, you can use them, but Canva has so much, so much better tools already. Um, I'm gonna just grab one of our one by eights right here. And then we're gonna bring it in the center here and then we're gonna enlarge it. So you enlarge it to fit the corners here and then you're good to go. And it's got the margins all set up correctly. Everything looks good. You can zoom in and check it and make sure everything looks good. And then all you gotta do is hit continue. And that is it. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can actually change the size. So if we go back, I can go edit. We can change this to a one by nine. Just say I didn't want to do this one. I'm gonna do a different one here or delete this. Um, I think let's do a one by 10. I think these other ones in here are all one by 10. Yep, here's a, a larger one here. Bring it out. All you do is just make sure you get right on the edge here and then zoom it out until all your white border is gone. So everything is good here. So we're good. So we can zoom in, you can check the quality, look at everything and go ahead and order. So one by 10 is a little bit more. I think it, the one by 10 is $50, I believe. It'll tell me in a second. So once you change the size, yep, 50. And then you add it to the cart, you get a little preview here so you know what you're ordering. And again, it's in the cart. So you'd say you ordered a one by 10 and a two by four banner that's good for the front of, of your tent or the back behind it. Uh, it's only 90 bucks and there's literally nothing else. There's no other shipping charges, no hidden fees. So if you're in Alaska or Hawaii, this is a great deal for you. It's so far away. Um, you know, 90 bucks, that's it. So even if we got rid of these, it just made it 40 bucks for the two by four, that's a great deal. So if you want to support the channel, support what I'm doing here, I'm going to make tons of videos on different things just for anything that we do, like mostly banners, how to set up different sizes, what to look for. The next video I'm going to make is understanding, you know, issues with your logos, pixelizations, how to fix things like that uh, before you bring them over to Canva, because that seems to be a major problem uh, that people do have. And I, I help people throughout the process. So if you do place an order or you want extra assistance with your order before you place it, you can actually go we'll go back to Canva here and show this last thing. This is the really cool thing. You can share your actual link with anyone. So I can click the share button here and then anyone with the link and access can edit and then I'll copy the link. And then you can send me that link through email. Um, if you place an order, you can also give me that in there. Uh, but if you really want me to look at it, please do it before you order and just say, hey, I want you to look at this to make sure it's right. I'll open that up and, I, and you can watch me move it at the same time. It's super cool. It'll show my name that I'm looking at it uh, at the same time you're looking at it. So we can kind of do a hands-on thing. It's pretty sweet. Uh, and then once you approve it, you can just export it the way I explained. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, like it's Canva is a great tool. Um, it, you certainly uh, can use ours, but I would say Canva is such a great product for uh, at least setting up and then using us or whoever you want for the printing. Um, Using us, obviously, is ideal, uh, but I, I'm just appreciative that you guys watch the video and get some education out of it, because I know this is a, a very helpful to a lot of you. So if you support me, you want to just, you know, give me an order. If you're in the U.S., we're going to be able to get this banner to you faster than anyone else in the country. So please give us a shot. Um, if you like the videos or have questions, put it in the comments. And again, all those sizes, all the common uh, all the common sizes, like the two by fours, one by eights, eight by eights, I will put it all in the description on how uh, to upscale those to the correct size. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. And give me some comments.